<laughs> uh, hey, well, we all want the best for our kids, but sometimes parents spend too much time and energy fixating on their child's weaknesses. Our next guest is here to help. In her book, The Strength Switch, author and psychologist Lee Waters teaches us something called strength-based parenting. It revolves around focusing on what your kids are good at rather than worrying about their limitations. But how exactly can parents put this into practice? Let's find out. Please welcome the guest, Dr. Lee Waters. Strength-based parenting, can you explain this to us in terms we can understand? Sure. Let me, let me start with a, a question. Let's, I'm going to pick on you, Jesse. OK, great. Let's Good. say I'm the boss of TV land yeah. and I own this TV station. Mm. And I walk past you tomorrow at work and I say, can you make an appointment to come and see me on Friday because I've got some areas of improvement that I'd like to discuss with you. Mm -hmm. What goes through your mind when I ask when I say that? Mm, I'd say, can I get out of it and put Kanoa in my spot instead? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be quite worried, I suppose. Yeah, worried. And and that's that's because most of us were raised to think that if improvement, areas of improvement, is about fixing what's wrong with us. Mm -hmm. But it turns out in, in my research that we can also improve what is right with us. We tend to think because something's good about us, oh, we don't need to worry about that. When we focus our attention on improving and developing what is right with us, that's when we reach our full potential. That's a, a key pathway to mental health. When we focus our attention on improving what's wrong with us, we need to do that, but it's kind of getting us from our lowest baseline up to proficiency. Right. Yeah. So strength-based parenting is really about starting first with what's right with your kids, what their strengths are, what they're good at, and focusing on improving and developing those before we turn our attention to compensating for what's lacking, what's missing in our children. I, I mean, I've got some notes on Jesse what's lacking about him, but um, <laughs> how, how do you identify what the, your child's strengths are? Yeah, such a good question. And a strength is something that your child does well. So right. you'll know that they have high levels of performance, they'll learn really quickly, they're, maybe they're a little bit above age expected. You can talk about that in terms of talent, great uh, sporting ability, um, artistic ability, creative ability, communication skills. But I think also in terms of character, you know, some kids are just, they're wise beyond their years or they're, they're like crazy courageous and brave. So we're looking at performance, but we're also looking at energy. The kid has an energy when they use their strengths and they're self-motivated. You don't need to tell or nag your child to use the strength. They'll just want to do it because they get energy and they're good at it. Right. But what if their strength is playing Fortnite and <laughs> <laughs> not reading? Yeah. So how do you work with that? Mm. I love that question because I have a 16-year-old son who is obsessed with Fortnite <gasps> and, in fact, um, plays, a lot, plays a lot with Kiwis. Back in Australia, he told yeah, us... that's probably why you're wearing a tino ranga tiratanga dress. It was. Yeah. <laughs> this was actually deliberate as a sign of respect and gesture. But I mean, Nick told me the other day. He told me some fact about New Zealand, and I said, "Did you learn that at school?" And he said, "No, nah, Mum. I learned it off PS4. I learned it right. off." Fortnite. So that's but, a strength. Well, the question. The, it's a really good question because a lot of us are fighting with our kids around technology and screen time. And if we just go for the problem, it just creates tension, and no one wins. If we step back and we take a strength-based approach and we have a look at, in my case, I look at Nick and I think, well, he's using teamwork, he's using forgiveness mm. when his mates muck up, he's using pro planning, problem solving. There are some good things that are happening. Okay. When I do that, I can, I can calm down a little bit on that argument. Uh, there's <laughs> plenty more in the book, as you'd expect. It's called The Strength Switch. It's available now. And please thank Dr Lee Waters.